Greetings, Desperados. Your time is valuable, so let's jump right in. In this video, I'm going to show you where to find all the unique artifacts within the canyon of Blood West. But in case you get lost, here's a rough map as well as some timestamps to help guide you. Also note that the majority of the paths I take are pre-cleared, and there are multiple ways to get to certain artifacts. I will only be showcasing the easiest, most direct route from Jim's safe zone. First up, we have the glove. Starting from Jim's safe zone, run towards town and round the side of the saloon, and continue straight. Ahead of you, you should see a campsite with an enclosed wall of plank fences. After clearing the site, you can find your prize inside one of the tents. The glove grants you a 15% faster reload speed and has no drawbacks. Continuing on, next we have the Shot Coin, an artifact that Jim set you out for. Starting from Jim's safe zone, head to the side of the town and follow the canyon's rocky wall. After a brief time, you should see a tower. After clearing the many denizens, head up the small incline and into the collapsed tower. Running up the debris to the second floor, and next to a collapsed beam awaits your prize. The shot coin grants you $3 per kill, or can be turned into gem for $200. Now while in that same spot, turn around and notice the broken wall to your right. Jump through the gap and onto the cliff face with the skeleton and you'll find the next artifact, the dead man's hand. This item grants you increased health at the cost of decreasing your sneaking ability. Next up, we're going after some guy's eyeballs. From Jim's safe zone, head to the saloon and round to the left inside of town. Continue this direction for quite some time and you'll eventually see a border post fence line and a small family home. Continue inside, killing the two prodigal daughters within, and in the back room in the cauldron lies a set of eyeballs. Equipping this artifact grants you an increase to the effective range of ranged weapons by 5 meters. Ectoplasm is next. From Jim's, run up the main road of town and to the church. When inside, you'll have to platform your way up to the church's steeple. But inside the steeple, the artifact awaits you, as well as some other supplies. When using Ectoplasm, there's a small chance that an enemy's attack misses you after connecting for a hit. Please note, however, that you can also receive this artifact by killing an enemy, and this has a chance to be in their inventory upon death. Moving right along, the Soul Catcher is next. You have quite the run ahead of you. From Jim's safe zone, run up the railroad track through town and start heading to the right diagonally from the farmstead sign. Continue through the open fence line and down into the canyon pass. In a small zone of rock pillars, you'll find the Soul Catcher on a pile of resting bones. The Soul Catcher increases your max stamina by 50 points. You can also buy one of these off of Jim for $300, but their effects will not stack. While within the burial grounds, head to the back wall and round till you get to a pillar of rock that seems climbable. After reaching the top, you'll see a resting cot filled with more bones, and similarly to the Soul Catcher, the mystical scalp will be laying with these bones. The scalp grants you an increased max HP by 30%, however, your bleed time and chance of bleeding are both increased by 25%. If you're going after either of these items within the burial grounds, be cautious. The area is teeming with vindigos and spirits alike. Next up is the playing card. From Jim's, run to the front entrance of the fort and head inside. Make your way to the backmost tower and climb your way to the upper floor. Inside and on the table lies your prize. This item increases the chance that you'll find additional loot on monsters. And as far as I can tell, this does stack with a magpie's fortune boon. Also in the fort, we can grab the necklace with fangs. Starting from Jim's, head to the front entrance of the fort and go into the base of the tower on your right. Go down the ladder and into the ground below. Follow this tunnel until you get to a wooden platform. Take the ladders down to the bottom and to the left of the final ladder, laying on a crate, this item awaits you. Necklace with Fangs grants you a 50% increase to your max stamina and a 25% ability increase to your sneaking. The watch can only be purchased from Jim for $600. This item slows down time by 35% for one second when you aim down the sights of a weapon. This artifact also stacks with a slow time perk you can acquire naturally and gives you a full three seconds of slowed time, giving you a chance for that perfect shot. And last up on the docket, we have the Calmette, which will be gifted to you after you hand in all five cursed gold items to the Totem of Souls. This artifact gives you a 50% chance that spirits will miss their attack after making contact with you. There you have it! Everything you need to find all the artifacts within the canyon. If you want to know how to find all the unique weapons of the canyon, watch this video next. I have other guides as well that may help your fight against the undead. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting.